hello and welcome friends uh, in this video we are going to see how to load data from uh, excel file so this is my file which is in xls format so let me show you the property you can see here the property in that uh, we have file in xls format so uh, let me open this file so you will get the what all things we have in that excel file so so yeah so we have this four data four column data so th so this is my customer uh, cus details excel sheet uh, in that uh, in that we have four row data like we can say four customer data we have so let me uh, now uh, so okay so let me uh, go inside the clip so you need to create a project java project in that uh, i have uh, created one uh, class which will have my main method okay so to read excel uh, excel file uh, because it is a different one so to read that file we require a different dependencies so how to add dependencies so just click on uh, right click on the project and uh, go inside the configure and uh, make convert to maven project so i'm going to add a maven dependency in this project okay so you will get something like this just uh, put some name so i will say excel file reading finish now it will create a palm.xml file inside your project directory and then we will add some dependencies so this is my palm.xml file just go inside this one and uh, we need to add some dependencies so after build you can add your dependencies so we, we required a poi like apache it is from apache and uh, we need to add these two dependencies one for xs xls and one for xlsx okay so just add this these dependencies and then we, we can start with our pro uh, configurations we, we can start with our coding and all so while doing a uh, operation on xls file we need to remember something like uh, hssf workbook hssf uh, sheet and hssf row so these are for like uh, to get the data or uh, like excel workbook in object format we are going to use this one this uh, class and for sheet we are going to use this class and for row we are going to use this class okay so let me create uh, an uh, function let me create a function so that uh, we can uh, call from other way read the file xls file and in that i will pass my file location so my file location will be d colon test colon cost details dot xls okay so this will be my file location let me create the function so if you want to see that file so here is the file location it is in d and test then cus detail dot xls format okay so now we need to create an object one by one so first we will create object uh, let me specify with file let me create object of this class this is from apache poi only you, you just need to import that file so i will say workbook equals to new so it will be hssf workbook and in that uh, we need to pass our file so it will be new file input stream and in that we need to pass our file detail okay now it will ask for uh, exception just add throw throw and make it in try block ok 
okay so we are done from here now i need to take my data in hssf sheet uh, i can say sheet equals to workbook now we can directly work on all these function get uh, sheet we can see directly so get sheet and in that we will pass our sheet name like in one workbook we can have the multiple sheets so basis on that we can provide our sheet name and it will give us the data so just uh, import from poi now so the customer is my sheet name that's why I specified it there now what we need uh, we need uh, that row also hhsf row dot uh, we can say row equals to sheet dot get row so it will give me the index it will ask me for the index number i will say dot get uh, cell number in that which cell we want so I want the cell number 0 then after that what I want I want uh, get a numeric cell value so this much uh, in that we want this one okay sorry So just to take the row in that now we can say like this is out and I uh, will say that row dot now this one is okay so so this is the the first thing which I have done let me execute the program so that uh, you will get some data and we can think like uh, it is working so we are getting 101.0 so this is the first row and zero, uh, like zero row and zero row now let me iterate the value so that uh, so now I'm gonna specify row data here hssf row will say row data equals to null okay and uh, we need one variable also for iteration so i will say i equals to zero here now i will say while row data we want the first of row from the sheet so I will say sheet dot get row index of I is not equals to null okay yeah so this one is not equals to null and then uh, I will say sys out cost uh, id plus uh, I wanna have here now I have the row I will say row data dot get cell of i
so zero th we are getting from i and uh, zero ka zero that one dot get numeric cell value and we just need to increment i okay now just run this once again so this is the i incrementing we are incrementing here so i is zero then again it will be zero but if it is one then it will be also one that's why i think so like uh, one at the one place it is the string value and we are not getting in the integer that is the issue we are getting so what i will do i will just say zero here and uh, let me run again so now we are getting the data like this way we can print our data one by one or we can put the value inside uh, any object so the second one will be my customer name which will be not a numeric value it is a string value so get a string cell value we need to say here and for others it is the integer so we don't have to do anything just you can also add this one so we are getting data yeah customer id customer name and we can uh, like we can put in the object also and we can use for the uh, other reference so that's all in this video we are we have used the poi uh, api we can see the jars which is provided by apache to read the xls data thank you so much guys if uh, you have liked the video then please hit the like button and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you